Strip clubs and wild parties are a big part of Super Bowl week. Mons Venus is a famous club in Tampa, and women are coming in from out of town, filling out applications in the hopes of making lots of money. For one day, I hope thousand or two thousand dollars. Local dancers like Tiffany say the club is noticeably less crowded during this week compared to the last time the Super Bowl was in Tampa, but she still has her hopes up for a crowded weekend. I'm hoping uh, to make uh, at least two months of mortgage payments, payments this Super Bowl weekend. What's my mortgage? My mortgage is pretty high, but um, if it's a good weekend like it was in uh, 2001, I shouldn't have to work for a month. Pittsburgh Steeler fan Chris Delapa is from nearby Lakeland, Florida, and he's thrilled his favorite team is playing in his own backyard. The best part of Super Bowl week for Delapa is that it's hardly costing him a dime. This day is not going to cost me very much at all. Parking cost me probably about eight bucks, and if I don't buy anything, it be about eight bucks. That's really not what businesses want to hear. Over at Hat Tricks, the sign says Super Bowl fans welcome. But compared to the last Super Bowl in Tampa, owner David Mangione says business is a little less than ideal because many out-of-town fans have not yet arrived. Obviously, it would be better if you know times were better and people were spending money like they had been you know, eight years ago. It definitely would be a much bigger event. Playboy magazine has canceled its annual party here at the Super Bowl, and big-name advertisers like General Motors and FedEx have both pulled out of the big game, and there's still plenty of hotels available here in Tampa. And it's plainly obvious to everyone, even the nation's number one sporting event is feeling the strains of the tough economy. Covering the Super Bowl, Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Tampa.